Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is my channel, Kristen Alyssa. And welcome to my series called Kristen's DAT Survival Guide, where I talk to you guys about how to study for the DAT, how to study for each section of the DAT, and what materials they should look into purchasing or using. <laughs> so today's subject is organic chemistry. I have a love-hate relationship with organic chemistry. I love it, I love the subject, I think it's so interesting, but it can be a little confusing sometimes. But when you're getting ready to study for the DAT, we don't have time for confusion. So here are the tools that you need to study for organic chemistry. <laughs> but before we jump into that, make sure you subscribe, 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 subscribe. And the reason I'm telling you to subscribe is because this isn't the only video. I am covering every subject of the DAT in detail and how to study for it and what materials you need for it. And if you're not subscribed, how are you gonna find me again? Like, you can forget my name. My name isn't spelled normally. Like, so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so that whenever I drop a video, you know. You one of the first to know. And you'll be on it, just like you're going to be on the DAT, and you're going to smash it, and you're going to kill it, and it's going to be awesome. Boom. So let's get into the actual things that you should look into purchasing for organic chemistry. So starting at the lowest price, Course Saver, aka Chad's videos. Chad is my BFF. We go way, way, way back. He doesn't know me, but I know him, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> He has helped me through a lot. <laughs> and it's a great resource. It, he, it's a, if you don't know what Chad's videos are, it is literally a man in a classroom helping these students get ready for the MCAT, DAT, or whatever else there is. And he's literally at a whiteboard writing everything down. So it's like you're in a classroom. It's getting that classroom experience. And um, he breaks down every subject and he answers questions. Not your questions, because he, it's recorded. You know, you can't see you. <laughs> But he answers the questions of students, and so if you feel like you learn better that way, great way to go. $50 per month. Second resource I recommend is the, again, DAT Destroyer. I talk about it all the time. It's amazing. Look into it. It is pricier. It's at $150, but um, DAT Destroyer, the benefit that I see in it is that it gives you hundreds, hundreds of organic chemistry questions, and they're tough. They're, they're not easy. They're harder than what you're gonna see on the DAT, and that's awesome because it over-prepares you for the DAT. So whenever you get to the DAT, you'd be like, oh, bromide addition, I got that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Next thing and last thing, and one of the most important things, is DAT Bootcamp. Sal and I, I think that's his name, the, the CEO of DAT Bootcamp, he is my BFF. BFF, I'm telling you. He doesn't know me, but again, that's not important. He's a real one. Like, I remember one time, I think I rescheduled my DAT or something like that, and my, my subscription to DAT Bootcamp ended like a couple weeks before my new test date. I emailed him, he extended my subscription. Like, who does that? Like, I emailed the CEO and he, you know? <sighs> I love him. I do. And he loves me too. Or he loves my money, but you yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> Same difference. Um, but yes, DAT Bootcamp is crucial because it gives you a ton of practice tests. And practice tests are so important when studying for the DAT because it's a long test and you need stamina. To build that stamina, you need practice tests, which are on the DAT Bootcamp, along with detailed explanations and videos for every single question. Every single one. And so, 10 out of 10 recommend DAT Bootcamp for all your DAT needs. If that is the only thing you buy, that's okay. You'll be okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's not convincing. But you, you would be okay. It, um, yeah. There are people who've done it, I'm sure. It wasn't me. That's why I'm so like... Yeah. 
So let's wrap it up with how I studied for organic chemistry and you know what gave me success in that department. So for me, like many of you, I'm assuming it's you don't have all the time in the world to watch every single Chaz video there is out there. You just don't have time or patience. And honestly, it's not necessary. Like if you're comfortable with the subject, move on. So what I did was on the subjects I knew I was fuzzy on, I watched Chad's videos. And then I would go to DAT Destroyer, do about 40 questions or so, and then review it and take note of the types of questions I kept missing. And then watch Chad's videos on those subjects. And then I would take DAT Bootcamp practice exams and then review those subjects and see, did I improve? You know, am I getting better? Am I really understanding what Chad is telling me? Am I really understanding the subject? And if not, again, I'd go back and review it, whether it was on Chad's videos or some other resource. The difference between organic chemistry and say a subject like biology is that it's not really memorization. You actually have to understand what they're asking you and you have to understand the mechanism, the affinity, because they can take one bromide addition reaction. I'm sorry, that's like the only, <laughs> That's the only type of organic chemistry that I actually remember is a bromide addition. But they can take one bromide addition and ask like five questions on it from like the affinity to the substrates to the side products to the end products to the initial products. They can, you know, really manipulate that question. So make sure you fully, 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 fully understand it. And the only way to do that is to, you know, drill it into your mind or have someone else drill it into you like Chad. My buddy, <laughs> he don't know me though. <laughs> okay. And major key with studying, I'm gonna say this a million times until you know it's understood. Don't study one subject per day. Rotate the subjects. Like, just because you feel comfortable in like reading comprehension, don't doesn't mean you only study it once a week. Study it every other day or so, but make sure you stay fresh on those subjects. All right, that wraps up organic chemistry. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Best of luck studying for orgo. That's what I call it. <laughs> orgo. <laughs> it's a cool way to say it, FYI. Um, and, you know, best of luck studying for the DAT. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>